there, welcome back to Chef Monica's Kitchen. Today I'm gonna to make something super special for you. So everybody always wants to know what my favorite dish is or what my favorite meal that I ever ate was. And truthfully, the best thing I ever ate was in the Sahara Desert in 2002. It wasn't at Charlie Trotter's, it wasn't at Alinea or some other big fancy restaurant. So I was there studying for my master's thesis and we were taking a camel trek out in the Sahara Desert. And the second day after we had been on camels for like two or three hours and I could barely walk, we stopped literally what they called the road, which was basically a few tire tracks in the middle of the desert. And our tour guide, Abdul, sits down pulls out a bag of fresh vegetables and starts chopping and throwing them into a bowl. And Jeff and I kind of look at each other like, okay, this is gonna be awesome. And, and we said that sarcastically. And so he throws this all together, takes a can of sardines, throws it on top, and this is lunch with a little bit of bread. And we were kind of like, all right, whatever. So we were hungry, so we ate it. And I kid you not, both of us, it was like a, ha, ah, this angel sang and everybody wept and it was just a gorgeous, beautiful thing. So this was absolutely my favorite meal ever and I'm going to make it for you. It's a super easy salad. It consists of tomatoes. It consists of bell peppers, cucumber. This is an English cucumber. This is the kind that has fewer seeds and um, much thinner skin. And I did peel and seed that. Lots of garlic, fresh cilantro and parsley, some green onions, I've got a pinch of salt, pepper, cumin, paprika, and of course the canned sardines. Now these are American canned sardines. The Moroccan ones, I kid you not, are probably a four inch long fish and they're fantastic. So, um, And then we're going to just put a little light dressing of argan oil and a little bit of red wine vinegar. Uh, let me do a little bit about the argan oil. In case you don't know what argan oil is, it comes from the argan tree and I challenge you to Google goats in trees. I kid you not, they climb to the top of the trees, it's hilarious. They look like ornaments on the argan tree. And these are the pits in the fruit of the tree that the Berber women collect and then will grind together in basically a mortar and pestle and then they extract the oils out of it. You see some of the oil in the uh, col or cosmetic industry and then of course there's the culinary version which would be like the equivalent to extra virgin olive oil. It's super expensive. This bottle cost me about a hundred bucks so this isn't for the faint of heart. If you don't want to use the argan oil, go ahead and use olive oil. That's perfectly fine. The salad will still be delicious. So let's put this puppy together. So we've got the tomatoes. We're going to pop that in there. And obviously, if you do this in the peak of summer with really, really fresh vegetables from your garden or the farm, it's even better. The thing about this that's so wonderful is the fact that it's so bright and colorful. So you're really eating with your eyes, which I love. Cucumbers. Make sure we get all of those bad boys in there. And this has a delightful crunch as well. The garlic, we're gonna scare away any zombies or vampires. We've got our green onions or scallions, as my husband teases me when I call them that. And then of course our parsley and cilantro. See, already that looks like super divine, doesn't it? And then a little bit of sea salt or kosher salt, you could use whichever, don't go overboard on that. Our cumin, and actually I'm quite fond of the cumin, so I might use all of this here. All of it, dump it all, beautiful. We'll do all the smoked paprika as well. That gives it nice heat and color. And then fresh cracked pepper. Lots of fresh cracked pepper. A Little bit of our red wine vinegar. Not too much, just for a little acidity. And then our argan oil. Here's where we're gonna get expensive. I'm gonna put uh, a good helping, maybe a little more. There's your 10 bucks worth of argan. Like I said, olive oil is perfect. And then we'll go ahead and stir this all together. And it smells absolutely lovely. And it looks even lovelier. First thing you do, you want to eat with your nose and you want to eat with your eyeballs. And if both of those are happy, then I guarantee you'll put it in your mouth. And this is being served in our lovely blue ceramic from Morocco, from Fez actually. Super. And then we'll grab our little sardines. Sardines are super healthy for you. They're full of those good omega-3 fatty acids that we're all supposed to get more of. And I know some people have an aversion because they've never had it before, but I promise you they're delicious on this salad. Oh, we're gonna just do it all. Let's live dangerously. Oil and all, because it's got all that great flavor in there. Beautiful. Oh, one more piece, can't leave him out. And then, because I want to be different, I'm going to go ahead and also top this with a tiny bit of feta. That's not how we had it when we were in the desert, but I love to have that little extra flavor in there. And this basically is a wonderful lunch, complete meal. Looks gorgeous. You could serve this at a party and everybody would be ecstatic. 
And of course, the longer you let this sit, the better the flavor will be. It just has a chance to sort of marinate and permeate there. And because it's my salad, I'm gonna eat it. Make sure I get a little feta in there. I have a fondness for very large mouthfuls, don't I? We'll try this again. Mm. Just like being back in Morocco. A little bite of bread. It's the best thing I ever ate, I promise. Go home and make it. <laughs> and follow us on <laughs> chestnut-dashing.com to watch <laughs> it.